what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make all the miters meet together. And so I put it on a piece of plywood so that when I take the saw to it, I won't cut the bench. And you cut the bench, you know, it's not a good thing. So I, I pulled this together last week, and I'm, I'm looking at all these right here and saying, okay, which ones fit and which ones don't. Looks like this one's pretty good, this one's pretty good. But this one right here, this one right here has a little bit of a gap. I don't know if the cameraman can see that, but if you can get in on that. But what do you do when you have a gap like that? You can either take it apart, you can trim it, and you can gouge it out, you can put the, you can miter it slightly off to the side, uh, do a compound miter. But what I like to do, which is a, it's, it's a cool way of doing it, is just take your dovetail saw and, and go in there like this and and then see if you can pull it together gradually. This is an old technique that I used to use, you know, when you have a mortise and tenon you're trying to fit together. Uh, you want to make sure that, you know, everything fits up. And so I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, well, you know, it still needs a little bit, a little bit more here. And so I'm going to come in here again and try it again. And see if, see if we can, see, I'm going to pull it in. See, the thing is, I'm, my fingers and my thumb, are pulling this joint together and lo and behold we have a tighter joint and so I'm looking and I'm saying okay can we get this any tighter so you know we, we can keep jerking around with it but I think we got it just about as tight as we can get it now we're gonna make a, a, a dovetail if you will but we can't do that yet we're gonna make a dovetail that looks like this and it's going to come in like this, so to speak, sort of, sort of like this. It's going to look like this. Okay, that's just a rough drawing. And we're going to put one on one of each corner. Like this. What we need to do is we really need to glue this together before we can go ahead and put the dovetails in. But in order to get a proper fit, what you really want to do is, first of all, I'm going to get a pencil here, and I'm going to mark each one of these. You know, one, one. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get a pen so you can see it. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. <coughs> okay, so now... You're going to get this, and see, this is this needs it's 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 fairly rough, but I'm going to I'm trying to figure out what I should use here, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a a chisel and uh, scribe it up. Get a chisel like this, just any chisel, fairly sharp chisel. Get a sharp chisel and just <clears throat> start scoring it up, score it up, because that is where the epoxy will seep in and it will grip much better because epoxy is an adhesive. So I'm looking at this right here, like here. So we got that one. Get this. You got to be careful that you don't impale yourself because I'm good at that. I'm taking my thumb away and I'm making sure you have a nice firm. Let me see, make sure we're doing this right here. Come in like this. Like this. Get this. See, I'm going straight through and then crossing over like this. So I'm making a matrix. Make a matrix straight on like this. Then you go across like this. And then you go across like this. So that ought to give it plenty of strength. And then after we get all four of these done, After we get all four of these done, like this, then we're going to mix up some epoxy and put in a little sawdust for filler. And then, do I have them all yet? Let me see. Three, three, four, four. Yeah, okay. So here we go. We got all of them done. Now, let's go ahead and I have some wood here. Let's make up some epoxy here. And I think we'll get plenty of epoxy here that. Most of it will probably squeeze out. Now, so that I don't glue it to the table, I think it's a good idea that I take some paraffin to it. 
take some paraffin and, and blow it on. I mean, rather, uh, rub it on so that so that the uh, piece doesn't adhere to the plywood that I'm mounting it on. It's amazing what paraffin is used for in furniture making. I mean, you think of it as just being sort of like a <clears throat> something you know out of the way, but you use it for lubricating drawers. You use it for preventing things from sticking. You can use it for gluing up something that uh, you later on you want to break apart, like if you're doing a turning. Uh, and you're doing some fluting and you want a quarter flute and you can put wax paper between it and so there and that had wax paper has paraffin on it and you can break it apart but it's strong enough at least to to make the component you want to make without the seam breaking but if you hit it right it will come apart now see here we have this right here got a nice nice got a nice mixture of this and i'm going to get some paraffin out of my paraffin drawer you know i pity the guy that has to has to uh, liquidate my estate because when they come to taking this shop apart, it's going to be a really ugly affair. So I'm going to take this like this, get this like this, and I'm going to get the paraffin and rub it all over so that hopefully this doesn't stick. Okay, so. I bought a box of this paraffin about 15 years ago. You know, you buy it in the, the boxes like this, about four or five, and I still have plenty of it left over. So we're going to put this. Let's see what, where the numbers are here. Here's one, here's two, three, and four. I'm going to go and start putting the epoxy on it. So lay it in there. Now what you have to do each one because you want to really make sure you press it in to those to that grating that we am I shaking too much here. So you're going to put that. Now we're going to put this one down. I'm going to go to another one. <clears throat> and you know something? You know I did that one. I did that one. I'm going to get this in here like this. Get this like this. Hopefully, we've measured this just right. There's nothing more frustrating because this, this epoxy is expensive stuff than making too much, and then you're running around the shop figuring, what is there any other area you can you can use the stuff up? Any other any repair or any project you're building or whatnot that you can do? So you have this. Okay. How about that? I like that. We just have just just absolutely what we need and no more. Get the last remnants of it up here like this and put that in there like that and then go for it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get uh, this, put three together, and then you rub it together so that you get the epoxy actually to squeeze out if you can. You can always take the epoxy off later on. And now you know why we have the wax because not only is it coming out from the top, but it's gonna come out from the bottom. Get it like this. And now this is not to say that this is going to be an absolutely perfect hold perfectly, but it will give us the strength that we need to hold this thing together when we there we go. I think we have it. Okay, I'm afraid to touch the thing. And it's it's by and large pretty the, the miters have, I see a little, just a little gap right there and just a little gap right there, but it's pretty good. So I will take, just take a little bit off. Make sure everything's flush. Try not to get the stuff on you. There we go. So put a little in here where I see the gap like this, take off any excess. Okay, so there, we have that.